What is going on guys? Today we're going to be heading to my local shopping center to see some really good deals which hopefully we'll be able to find regarding some Lego sets which I've got my eyes on both for myself and for Lego investing purposes and then once I've possibly bought these Lego sets I'll be going through why I bought the Lego sets uh, for Lego investing so let's head there. But just very quickly, if you want a chance to win a rare Bilbo Baggins poly bag, then all you have to do to be in with a chance of winning is click on the subscribe button and also comment down on this video. And the winner will be announced on the 28th of April. Okay, first stop is John Lewis. And look and see what we can find. Any good deals? This is where they have the Viking Lego set as the uh, exclusive to this store, the Viking Village. Oh, I'm not seeing it here. It's not, John Lewis isn't usually the best store for discounts, to be fair. We've got Mighty Bowser, Jazz Club, Captain America's Shield. And there you go, there's one Lego set on discount, which no one wants. Uh, some of the Jurassic World sets. Oh, Indiana Jones. It's on sale, 103. Let's go on to the Star Wars section. Yeah, not seeing any on discount here. Usually, they have this one, which again, this is actually exclusive to John Lewis for 275. So always check John Lewis because Lego definitely won't have that on sale for 275, so definitely worth keeping an eye on. Got some of the Avatar sets, Dreams. Yeah, none on sale here. Got a bit of Marvel, Minecraft. Got more Marvel around here. Crazy, barely anything on sale. I do really want to get the X-Men jet at some point, but there's no way I'm paying 75 for it. So yeah, John Lewis, not that successful. Got some of the Sonic sets, which I do like. I really like the Sonic sets, but just very overpriced for what they are. Some of the Ninjago sets. Yeah, nothing on sale. So we'll go and check out another store in a second. In the Lego store, I think we're gonna grab three of these, because these have been selling out a lot. Um, very good investment in my opinion. So we're grabbing a few of these, because that Wally figure should be a really good investment. Oh, next up on the list is game. Okay, yeah. So I usually have quite good deals on Lego. Yeah, you'll see just about everything is discounted in here. Pretty good. So I'm gonna grab this one because Rogue is worth £15 on eBay. You can sell the set for about fiver, so £20. So you'll be getting the Knuckles minifigure for £4. So worth bearing in mind if you're in the UK. I might use the uh, thing to scan and see what minifigure that one is. Yeah, good deals. So, I'm gonna grab two of the Sonics, I think. And maybe just one. I might grab one of these and one of these for the Shadow minifigure because I love that. That is awesome. Final stuff is House of Frasier. And they have a game section where they sell their Lego. 
These have very really good discounts. Although, wouldn't recommend it for investing because the boxes are usually in tatters. But again, pretty good. 15 pounds down from 20. This is usually 30 pounds in the Lego store, 24. So it's pretty good. Such a new set. This is the thing I love the most. If you want cheap army building, no better place for it. 20 pounds for a battle pack, which is wicked. Millennium Falcon display down to 60. Got some of the newer sets. Ten to four, forty quid. It's pretty good. Some of the Technic sets. Animal Crossing. So yeah, if you're um, in the southeast area, Blue Water Shopping Centre is the place to come for cheap Lego. Specifically. House of Fraser, they do really good deals on the Star Wars sets. So yeah, head down there if you're interested. Okay, so we're back from the shopping center and the first Lego set which I picked up was the Sonic the Hedgehog uh, set, which I really like. This is the Shadow Escape um, set. And I only really bought this for the Shadow minifigure because it's absolutely fantastic. I've wanted to get this for a while. Shadow is my favorite um, Sonic character. So this set, I, I I don't mind mind this set, but the only problem is it is very expensive for what you're getting. Um, to think that this set usually retails for about twenty pounds here in the UK, and you only get one minifigure, it's not the best um, value for money in my opinion. Uh, but this minifigure, he's really holding his price. If you want to buy him on eBay, you're looking at fifteen to sixteen pounds. So actually 15 pounds for this set and then I can part out um, the Lego set. I'll, I'll keep this the shadow minifigure but I'll be definitely getting rid of the rest of the set itself. Hopefully raise a couple of quid and uh, that brings it probably down to about 13 or 12 pounds. So not too bad to get hold of the shadow minifigure. And next up, and this is a really interesting Lego set for all you Lego investors and for all you Lego people who like to part out Lego sets to make a little bit of money. This one is an absolute yeah, it's gold dust in my opinion. It's really good. You've got a Knuckles minifigure which sells for about £15 on his own. The Rogue the Bat minifigure also sells for about £13 to £14 on his own. So that's about £29 or £28 here and there. And then you've got the set itself which you could probably shift for about £5. So all in all, you know, if you're buying it for £24, I bought two of these, one for myself as I'll be keeping the minifigures and then one for um, parting out and investing. And yeah, I think overall that's a pretty good deal. The set itself I actually quite like, um, but mainly it's the minifigures for Sonic that really sell the sets. Uh, the mini, the Sonic minifigures are really good. So what I'm gonna do is hopefully try to collect most of the Sonic minifigures, but as for the sets themselves, I'll probably just part them out to raise a bit of extra money. Another Lego set I bought was the Clone Trooper and Battle Droid Battle Pack. And we all know how good this battle pack is. It's just absolutely phenomenal. I'll be continuing to buy a few more of these throughout the uh, the next year or so, just to build up my clone and droid army. There really is no other better way. There has never been a better way than this battle pack right here. So if you're a Lego collector or you're just a clone army enthusiast, this is the set to buy. And especially at about 20% off, £20 here in the UK, Pretty good deal in my opinion. And next up for investing we have the Wally and Eve Brickhead set and this is one of the best Lego investments you can make at the moment, in my personal opinion that is. Um, you know I'm not a financial advisor and this isn't financial advice but in terms of from what I can see the kind of data that's out there um, and just what I see when I go to the Lego store this set is usually out of stock. It's out of stock an awful lot online um, it's hit and miss, it's probably 50-50 whether you'll find this in store at my local store and I've heard from other people that at other stores it's quite hard to find and I think that's just because of how good the uh, Wally Brickhead's character is. It's an absolute staple for Brickhead's collectors and thus I think it's going to be, it's going to sell really well once this Lego set does retire. It's going to have a rather short shelf life of about a year and a half I do believe. Um, so yeah, Definitely one to pick up, and for only £13.50 here in the UK, 
there's not many better Lego investments. I, I probably do see this tripling its money within the first two to three years. So yeah, definitely one that I'm going to continue to be buying. And it's worth remembering that this Lego set does retire at the end of this year. Or should I say it's at least scheduled to retire. That can obviously change at the end of the year. Maybe they'll push it back to next year. But from what we're seeing so far, it looks like this will be off of shelves by December of this year. So just something to bear in mind. So there we have it, guys. Just another little Lego vlog from myself. Just showing that there are good deals to be found out there with regards to Lego sets. So it's just always worth remembering. Check other stores as they will have some good deals. Anyway, guys, thank you for watching this video. If you have enjoyed the video, please do hit the like and subscribe button if you haven't already. Have a great day and I'll see you on the next one.